India is a land of beauty and generosity, of tradition, hospitality, and the acceptance of many cultures, said Vijayalakshmi Pandit, the sister of the first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, and the auntie of our former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Land of beauty and generosity, Kaditi Devo Bhava is what has been taught to every Indian household. 24 bars 7, anybody, God can walk in any time in the form of guests and they have to be taken care. That means people have decided the land of generosity and the land of beauty have to accept people non-stop. What Vijayalakshmi Pandit said was exact truth from the Sanskrit, exact truth from our spiritual books. Exact truth from our Bhagavad Gita, Ramayana, Purana, Vedas, yes. But one mistake what went wrong is the land of beauty and generosity. When they said the land of beauty means create the land, pedicure and manicure the land, yes. Every not a drop, a pint of shit in a cup of vanilla ice cream. Yes, the land is vanilla ice cream. You cannot have a pint of shit, not a drop. When the land is pedicured and manicured, you yourself pedicure and manicure your, your feet and your hands. You yourself makes your body so beautiful. That is the beauty what Vijayalakshmi Pandit and the former, our ancestors and all the Maharishis have taught us. The land of generosity, when you said the land of generosity, they said, Aditi Devo Baba, when a beggar comes, they believe he comes in the form of Brahman, the God, and we have to keep feeding. They, they always took it in the human form. Of course, the human form has to be taken, but God doesn't come first in the human form. He comes in the form of sunlight. That is why our, all the yoga gurus started doing Surya Namaskar. But they forgot to use the power of the Surya, the sun, to convert into solar and light the lamp, light the light in all the houses of India, especially the poorest of the poor houses in India, where in the darkness animals attacks, women are raped, children are murdered, and no policeman can reach anywhere. That generosity was forgotten, that the first sunlight has to be respected. And instead of 100 smart cities, we could create a million smart villages, especially on solar. And the second one is the rainwater harvesting, the generosity of the rains. Generosity, when God gives to nature, gives enough rain out of 365 days, 65 days of beautiful rainwater. Half an hour collected rainwater, you can use it for three months and it is ozone, it's powerful, it is medicinal, it allows the plant to grow faster, it can allow the plant to grow faster without any diseases attacking and stopping its growth. It will not attack you and not allow, stop your growth from becoming the richest in the world, in the heart and body and mind and in the materialistic world. Try to understand what I'm trying to explain. To me, India is a land of beauty. What happened to you? Japanese told me this beauty we understood only from India. The beauty of the women. And we pedicure and manicure the whole land. It's heaven, yes. What happened to our heaven? Our ex-Prime Minister uh, Vajpayee has to come down to Bangalore and has to go to Infosys campus and be pro campus and says, Oh, once upon a time, our temples were like this, cleanliness next to godliness. Now, your campuses have become like temples. Vijayalakshmi Pandit 
So to me, India is a land of beauty and generosity, of traditional hospitality. Yes, traditional hospitality comes from practicing the Sanskrit. Then you don't need any traditional hospitality. Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung walked into India. It shocked them. Traditional hospitality, that is one. Even I was shocked when I moved to many villages. They put a plate and washed my leg with uh, colorful powders, red and yellow. And they did an arte, yes. And then took me inside and gave me a glass of water. When Corona came, I knew this was very important. People from outside in the walk inside India has got the tradition, the hospitality, the traditional hospitality from time immemorial. People, when they come from outside, they like just clean, not only just clean, but with uh, yellow powder and red powder which can kill the, the virus yes and the lamp is lit and did an arti so that the fire can kill all the virus so that the person can be allowed inside the house will get disease that was our traditional hospital to have the traditional hospitality you have to practice the sanskrit the early morning when you get up the bhajan the cleanliness of the house the first lamp the looking at surya and the water, what has been collected, I study, collected, checked it up. When the rain comes, the rain, when the wind comes, the wind is collected. One of my friends went to South Africa. And he told me he went to McDonald's. He was eating and one person walked inside and took the burger and walked off. Nobody can stop him. He went to Kentucky Fried Chicken and he was about to enter. One person standing outside showed him a knife. You want the knife or you want the watch and your mobile? He removed the watch and the mobile and he allowed him to enter the KFC. And he saw him standing there and selling the watch and the uh, mobile right in front of him with the knife. That is the beauty of our country. There are many countries. Look at it, it is broken into pieces, living in fear. Fear, we have created, but it is not enough because somewhere down the line we have forgotten. And the acceptance of many cultures, yes, because can you see, every one child is a different face. In a house there are two children, also two different characters, but father and mother is accepted. In a house there are sometimes a boy is born, a girl is born, two different. Still, they accept that one. India has understood that was the culture. And if the culture has to become very strong, we have to think a lot, plan the strategy. Today, when I was driving from our Devanil Ashram to my Indranagar Center on the expressway, I saw a truck carrying live chicken, some are dead with the head hanging, some in pathetic situation, publicly they are taking. Is this the beauty and the traditional hospitality? Traditional hospitality is, Mahatma Gandhi said, the culture of the people is known by the way they treat the animals. Government should look into this one because the majority of the people are non-vegetarians in India and government should first attack on that area to make sure that animals cannot be transported. In countries like Japan, where they have a farmhouse, it is culled right inside there and packed it up beautifully in the deep freezer and then only transported. Nobody will come to know. But publicly, if you take the chicken like this, you have not given any value for your own children. The children will treat you when in the old age like this. And there is confusion, there is diseases. And you need more psychiatrists, psychologists. And Nimans is overflowing with mental disease people. The doctors are unable to accept anymore. There is no space. The land is becoming, going mad and mad. We have to sit and discuss. To sit and discuss it is very easy. Instead of 100 smart cities, let us have a million smart villages. Let the villages make sure that their culture of rainwater harvesting and the solar and the wind energy and the Sanskrit is 
practiced and whatever they are making it is beautifully packed so another person should not be able to see what has been done they see only the beauty what what was what what was taught to us when you go to the toilet you make sure that another person should be able to use it that means you clean the floor dry the floor keep the things back to position that was the beauty of india you should understand caring about the community hygiene is very very important that hygiene we will understand only not only to this one or to all the shops transportations animals like our goat or whatever it is very pathetic you bring them up so beautifully and publicly you they they should be culled without even they knowing about the pain without even our children seeing that vijayalakshmi pandit said to me india is a land of beauty yes create the beauty pedicure and manicure it up and generosity yes generosity is not aditi devo bhava aditi devo is first the wind energy the sunlight and the rain water of tradition hospital they go practice your sanskrit and the acceptance of many cultures so this was the strength of india to please maintain it up together we can wipe out more tears and bring down hunger Thank you.